Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and I've got a fun one for you today, guys. We're actually out at the Saturday Swap Fox Resto. Happens once a month. A lot of fun, but luckily I got to meet one of the people that had their cars there. And we're going to talk all about this 1992 notchback coupe that is, uh, oh, by the way, yeah, supercharged. So <laughs> this car is awesome, low mileage, and we're just going to walk around it, talk with the owner a little bit. But first, let me let you go ahead and get a good look at it. So yeah, she's a good looker, guys. Uh, 63,000, I believe, original miles. I uh, got the owner, Mike, here with me. Is that about right, Mike? Yep. 63,000? Yeah, 63, okay, and you've had this car four years. It's a 92, you're telling me. Yep. And she ain't stuck. She ain't stuck. <laughs> now, the cool thing, though, you said the paint is original? Yes, all the paint is original. And the interior as well, right? Yes, Has the, all, the, okay. all the interior is original. That's even the original bezel that I had custom done by a guy online. Oh, wow. So. What about the uh, the gauges and stuff? Because you got the car in Florida. Was that, were all those on there already? No. So I did all of the gauges and they are all working. So you typi okay. yeah, typically when you swap gauges out, some of the gauges in the cluster won't work. But yeah. All of that stuff is working. Oh, well. you got the cluster gauges working too. Yeah. So I've tapped all of that stuff and did all that myself. Nice. And then obviously you did change the shifter. I guess that's Hertz shifter. Yep. What trans has it got in it? Uh, it's got the T3550, so okay. the Tremec 3550 yeah. in it. Yeah, I put the Hurst short throw on it. Really love that. I'm a short guy, so it's nice yeah. for me. I don't have the big tall one. Yeah, know. just for reference, we got a little yeah. bit of height difference. <laughs> but uh, I noticed the seat was up pretty yeah, far, and pretty I was close. like, that scares uh, me, but that's okay. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, 92, so we were talking about the color too earlier, guys, because down south where I grew up, we always called it Bimini Blue. But I think that might be incorrect. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think they might be right, but you and your friend were saying Bimini, right? Bimini. Yeah. It's an actual place. I didn't yeah, know that. It's a real place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think it's down south. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is. Let's 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 talk about it. I've been avoiding it, but what do we have here now? It looks like it's still 302 base. So yeah, so it's the original block, the original 302 block. It is Cobra upper and lower intake, GT40 heads. Um, it's the P heads. Oh, wow. Just GT4 P heads. Okay. Yes. Is it alphabet cam probably? Or? Uh, yeah. So it's a B cam. B cam. Okay. Um, love the sound of the B cam. So it's B cam. The superchargers, the v2 si trim used to be v1 obviously i try to keep yeah. it very period correct you know it looks very period correct yeah because it had a uh, he was telling me it had a different supercharger on it at one point when you first bought it right yeah yeah so it had the v1 si on it or the v1 s trim now it's got the v2 si okay um so that's been swapped out still oil fed which i love the oil fed because then i don't have to take it apart and have it mm -hmm. serviced every so many miles or whatever but yeah it's got the msd in it it's got the boost retard um, it's been tuned by uh by rob over there at power curve a power curve yeah. oh okay rob's my guy so he tuned my car as well so if you guys want to check out rob i'll have his information up on the screen but he's going to tune my uh coupe build when i'm finished with it as well so yeah, so what did it put down with rob tuned uh, it? so it depends on how much boost we push to it yeah um, right now it's at 10 pounds at 10 pounds it's about 455 nice so that's kind of what you want with that block right because yeah uh, you're telling me this has never been gone through it's still stocked no it's got cobra crane roller rockers uh, that 1.7 kit in it okay so but i mean as far as the bottom end though bottom end's all stocked. okay yeah, yeah so i don't think it's going to hold a lot more than 500 yeah so i so right now i keep it at 10 at 455 okay. if we go up to 14 to 16 it'll push over 500 it'll do 512 yeah. 515 something like that okay so and we did have it up that far but we tuned it back because again I'm not sure yeah. to blow the car up so. well and it, it's a coupe which is the lightest ones yeah. so i'm sure it, it burns the tires a little bit uh yeah it burns yeah all the way through the <laughs> all uh, way through. so first second and third it'll go all the way through those if i want it to oh man uh, not on the track obviously on the street but yeah yeah, we don't track it very much. Uh, yeah, it's, I was going to say, has it been to the drag strip at all? Or? It has, but okay. before all this. Okay. So it, it ran really well before all this when it had all the old stuff on it. Um, it ran uh, 11 and a half, which was kind of nice. Yeah, um, that was that's before, fun. Before the tune. Before, and all yeah, that so I'm so. sure it would be a lot better now. I did want to ask you about the uh, all the work. Did you? I think you said you did most of the work yourself on this? So everything that's been replaced, all the shiny bits, I've done all that myself. Even painted the, the brackets myself, did the, you know, all of everything. I mean, yeah. new valve covers all of the polishing here caleb and all those guys they they sent me to a dude that did that he's out in uh, arkansas but oh, okay so you sent this off so to somebody in arkansas to polish yeah fox and, cast gave you yeah, a shout out there for that guy it. okay and then uh so everything else i've done i did the wire took myself i mean all that stuff's on my instagram and everything but uh, oh yeah what's your instagram by the way bimini underscore blue underscore 92 
Okay. So you can see almost the whole build's on there for the, the last few years, everything that we've done to it. But yeah, did all the Maxim Motorsports stuff myself, did the supercharger swap myself, did the you know intake, all the new valve covers. I mean, pretty awesome. Much, pretty much everything. Yeah, because I've learned, the big thing I've learned is that's how you save money. Save right? a ton of money. Yeah, and you were just telling me too, you did the five lug swap as well? So I did the five lug swap myself, had the, the Cobra brakes powder coated, and then I put it all on, you know, got the drilled and slotted rotors from Fox Brakes, uh, foxbrakes.com. Okay. I think they're on eBay as well. Okay. So you can get all that stuff on there. Easy, it's easy to do. The, the nice thing I love about Fox bodies is yeah. they're easy to work. They, they really, that's what I'm kind of learning. Yeah. So. There's not much to them. And uh, you were telling me too, the uh, the Celine stripes, they came pretty much, they're put on 10 days after the car was. Yeah, so those are original to the car from the original owner. Uh, I'm the third owner. Second owner never drove it. He put uh, probably about 2,000 miles on it in eight years. Okay. So yeah, so really just sad. I had to replace every seal in this car when I bought it originally. Oh so, man. Yeah. So from setting, yeah. Rear main, all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, no leaks, cars leak free. I mean, that's great. I got a water pump leak right now. I hadn't told you about guys, but let's not talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love this car. I was looking for a blue Fox body yeah. uh, years ago. My very first car I ever owned was a 92 yeah. coupe. It was the very, very rare silver. Everybody's always. Oh, about. yeah. I wish I'd never sold it, but you know. That's how it goes. Yeah. Um, and so if you're going to replace it though. When I could finally afford to get another one, yeah. this is the one I got. So. And this is the color, actually, the uh, Bimini blue that everybody, when I took it to the paint shop for my blue car, they were like, oh, you need to go with that one because it's a Ford color. Right. Of course, you know, I want something a little bit different, but basically my point is this is about as light as blue you can get with uh, these, these years. And I do love the color. Yeah. do love the color. And another cool thing you were telling me about, I want to talk about real quick. This is a summer edition, special edition summer spoiler that they put on the convertibles. But you're telling me that on your sheet. It's actual option, right? Yeah, so on the original build sheet, which I have at home, uh, like I have every piece of documentation for this car. That's really cool. Like a super thick book I've got. But yeah, this is on the build sheet, summer special spoiler wow. on the build sheet. So I have to double check all that stuff out to make yeah. sure it's legit, but it's, it's on there. It's been really hard to get a Martin report these days. I don't know if you're trying to get one. I haven't. I've been wanting to yeah. do one, but okay, it's tough. So all that's right. what I'd really like to see if it's on the Martin right. report because it's on the build sheet. Yeah, so, so he's going to check that out. But we think, guys, that this was actually an option, which I didn't know. So maybe some of you guys in the comments know let us know what you think but it's on his build sheet he's gonna get the marty report but that's very cool and i guess the cobra badges are probably added around the same time so those were all added yeah so original owner put those on yep. i do have all of the 50 stuff to put back on and the original lx to put there so that'll be a next are product. you gonna do that at some point yeah okay. I'd, re I'd really like it to have that stuff back on there i mean i know people give me a lot of crap they think the cobras are backwards well the real cobra badges are supposed to yeah. be that way um anybody but, giving you crap about this car you know why you know why they're doing it i know why they're jealous and i'm jealous too because it's a beautiful car they should not do that and you were also telling me you saved a bunch of money when you did the five lug swap you did you keep drum brakes in the back yeah so and that saved you a little bit of change chunk of change yeah saved like about 1200 bucks leaving the drum I in mean, the back so you can't beat that and, and it's got full suspension you know it's got the coney kind of the same ones that harris put on his car but the coney ones, yellows well these are the orange so i got the, the orange. orange okay yeah coney orange front and front and rear um it's got saline g-load brace what is it on springs or coilovers it's on springs okay motorsport springs okay from like the early 90s oh nice so yeah they're still great it, it came like that too when you got it as well okay yeah, so the, i really love the stance and so i didn't want to change the stance by putting something else on it yeah so yeah. i love i love the stance on it too i mean could you imagine so basically all that stuff happened i think you're telling me in 92 is when the supercharger and all that got put on it right could you imagine having this car like that in 92 this had to be the coolest guy around it, it was a pretty cool car i've yeah. got some original photos and stuff maybe we'll exchange emails i'll send you some of those original photos yeah so you can see the yeah comparison. we'll throw some of the photos up guys That is so cool. I bet you love it. I mean, is it more just a, it's not daily, but it's just kind of your cruiser weekend warrior type deal? Yeah, it's a garage queen and it's definitely <laughs> not a daily, but yeah, I love driving this car around. It gets a lot of head turns. I mean, oh, yeah. color mostly, but yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of cool shows. I live in Columbia, South Carolina. So a lot of cool shows down okay. there. We got a cars and coffee once a month I go to, and it gets a lot of attention out there. Oh, so you came from Columbia today just for the swap yep, meet? Just for the swap meet. Oh, well, how far is that? About an hour and a half uh, about maybe? two hours. Yeah. Two hours. Guys, he came two hours to the swap meet. So that's pretty awesome, actually. I, I didn't know any Anybody came that far that's really cool we've had actually last time i think we had somebody come from uh the beach like three hours away so oh, yeah. yeah are you enjoying it by the way the swap meet yeah yeah swap meet was really cool there's a lot of stuff out there i was looking for a couple of things car doesn't need that much more but anytime you can find something, <laughs> always something right always something so if i see something that i might <laughs> yeah. need later on i was gonna get it another thing too guys these are the original quarter windows yeah which i mean 
It must have been garage kept at least. Yeah, it was. It's always been garage. Always been garage kept because these are beautiful. Look it's at those quarters. Only been driven in the rain twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. And once only driven in the rain twice. Once was coming from Boxtoberfest uh, two years ago. I think. Yeah, it rained. Yep. when we were all leaving. So uh huh. That was, that was, that was I do remember that well. Okay, I don't feel as bad now because uh, I was comparing it to my junker over there. <laughs> and it's been through a lot of rain, so yeah. Okay, yours is looking good. And you've got 18s, 275, 40s, 18s, and, and these are 10 and a half or 10? Yeah, 10 and a half okay. on the rear, nine and a half in the front, which uh, for anybody doing this, nine and a half is a half inch too big. Go nine or a little lower. Okay. Nine and a half touches that inner fender well. Does it? A little bit. Okay, and you had yours rolled too, by the way, right? So the front is Is the front rolled. rolled? No, the front's not? Okay. No, but the rear, the rear is rolled. Uh, okay. Just the inner lip is rolled. Okay. Um, and you can even still see, you know, it still touches, but. And well, the big thing I'd add to that too is mine I, is uh, pre-91 fenders. So they're a little different. And so I've got 17 by nine, it rubs a little bit. Yep. So I need, to, I need to roll my fenders. But yeah, if you got the, I think it was 91 when they changed the fenders, uh, you can fit a nine without much trouble, it looks like. Yeah, nine would be great. Okay, so this is a 10 as well up uh, front? It's a nine and a half. It's a nine and a half, okay. Yeah, you just said that, but uh, I wasn't listening. So. <laughs> So glad you put the Flowmasters back on. What was on there before? Uh, rough. Okay. Rough. Yeah, he had to put the flows back on it. Sounds good. Yeah, the V2 is a little quieter, but it still sings. It still sings pretty good. It's got a nice little rope in the back, you know. Yeah. There it goes. Beat that sound! Can't beat that sound. I love it. Well, I'm sure you enjoy it, right? Yeah. <laughs> love <my car>. so, <laughs> awesome, awesome car. Well, guys, there you go. That's uh, Mike's '92 Bimini Blue. Check out his Instagram. All that. Uh, thanks a lot, buddy, for sharing the car on the channel. Well, there you go, guys. Mike's awesome 92 Bimini Blue car. Definitely check it out. Bimini Blue, I, I keep messing that up. I know it's not, no, it's Bimini. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mike. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy Mike's 92 Bimini Blue car. I thought it was gorgeous. Nothing like a supercharged coupe. That is very period correct. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can count on that consistent content. And that's pretty much it. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. beautiful car sorry about the wind <laughs> it is very period correct too right and, and the wind is really picking up right now oh my goodness man which way is the wind coming the wind's coming this way i think this way will be better then it kind of falls We're just getting way too much wind out there if you did enjoy the video please give the like button get the like button what how do you <laughs> how do you get the like button go get it go grab it no